This is King Rama V, also known as Chula Chumklao. He is the uh, founder of the school, the creator of the Royal Thai Military Academy. So the school was named after King Rama V. He's a very popular king in the history of Thailand. He's the one that basically established a lot of the ministries, the Ministry of Labor, the education, and, and really brought Thailand, at that time, the Kingdom of Siam, into the future. So he's a very, very important king. This school is dedicated to him. The school was originally located in Bangkok, and I believe it was founded around 1840, somewhere in that area. But I will do my research, and I'll definitely leave a link to the history of CRMA in this video. But this particular campus here in Nakhon Nayok was established in 1986. So King Rama IX, his late great majesty, Paul Pumiporn, is the one that cut the ribbon and did the dedication of when this campus was opened in 1986. So ever since 1986, it's been here at Nakhon Nayok. So you can see in the distance there, that's CRMA. You can actually hike up there to the top of the hill the hike but you can actually go up to those big letters similar to the big letters of Hollywood so this is the Grand Auditorium and this is where they have a lot of uh, of the big ceremonial events in the Grand Auditorium as well as many offices and his and uh, things in here there's no classrooms in this section here in this big parking lot down below is where they have the graduation ceremonies every year for the fifth year cadets during graduation is where they hand out honors. So this is CRMA. You also have helicopter landing zones out here in the parking lot because the princess, the daughter of the late great King Rama IX, the sister of the current King Rama X, comes here about two to three times a week under normal times not the COVID time that we're in now. And she actually teaches classes here at the campus. So we do have uh, visit the campus here frequently, at least two or three times a week. And she teaches over at the history department. Uh, she doesn't come to our English foreign language department, right? But she is an instructor here. So there's a, a lot of royalty connection here to the campus of CRMA. And she also has her own high school uh, just outside the gate of CRMA here. So the high school is in her name, right? So uh, a lot of students go to the high school uh, that is named after, what is this sister's name? Uh, Papum? Patep. Patep. Her name is Patep. So she is a uh, princess of Kingdom of Thailand. All right, so we're gonna take you on a little bit more tour. There's a lot to see here. Hang with us, we'll be right back. Coming to you from CR. Okay, everyone, thank you for watching the tour of CRMA. I'm going to try to give you some update and clarification information about the history of the campus here. So we're leaving the Grand Auditorium and the parking lot of the parade facilities. You see here on the right, they have some uh, historical equipment, uh, including an airplane and a helicopter on display. And then the first building that we're going to see here on the left is the foreign language department where I am uh, fortunate enough to participate in the education of these fine young men. Slow down here so you can take a look at the building. Right here is the foreign language department. So as we drive on down in here, I want to give you a little better tour of the uh, campus and the different facilities. We're not going to be able to cover everything today, but I think that this will give you a, a good overview of the campus. So we pull in here and you can see the large Thai flag. This is where the cadets gather in the morning to raise the flag as the national anthem is played. 
and then here on the right is a pavilion with a statue dedicated to King Rama V, Chula Chumklao. CRMA, Chula Chumklao Royal Military Academy, was founded on the 5th of August, 1887, by King Chula Chumklao, King Rama V, also known as King Chulalongorn. It was originally called the Royal Military Academy, and then on the 1st of January, 1948, it was merged with the Royal Thai Army Polytechnics Institute under the new name Chula Chumklao Royal Military Academy in the honor of King Chula Chumklao. Chula Chumklao Royal Military Academy was originally in the precinct of Saran Rom Palace in Bangkok and then in 1909 the academy was moved to Rachadam Non Nok Avenue in Bangkok. It remained in Bangkok for 77 years. On the 10th of July 1986, it was moved to its new sprawling complex here in Muang district of Nakonayok province, about 140 kilometers northeast of Bangkok. The academy admits only male applicants after three years attendance at the Armed Forces Preparatory School or AFAPS. <clears throat> the cadets attend the academy for a full five years and when they graduate with a bachelor's degree of their chosen field they are commissioned as second lieutenants into the Royal Thai Army. Annual military training starts in January after the second academic semester ends. Each class is scheduled for specific training. For example, first year cadets might be trained at the infantry center. Third, third year cadets who have passed the selection process might undergo parachute training and fourth year cadets ranger school. So in addition to their academic studies. They have a lot of military training here at the Academy. This is Thailand's equivalent to West Point. The cadets can obtain several different degrees here at the Academy, among which are Bachelor of Engineering in Mechanical Engineering, Telecommunications Electrical Engineering, Computer Engineering, civil engineering, survey engineering, and industrial engineering. Additionally, Bachelor of Science degrees, computer science, environmental science, information technology, and applied chemistry. There is also one Bachelor of Arts degree in social science. As we drive here on the one of these smaller roads. You see this orange building on the left. This is the history department on the campus and this is where Her Majesty, the daughter of the late great King Rama IX, Paul Pumiporn, this is where she comes and has classes with the cadets. So the campus does have a lot of royalty connection and her father, King Rama IX, Paul Pumaporn, is the one that cut the ribbon at the grand opening of this campus in 1986. Paul Pumaporn was king of Thailand for over 70 years, the longest monarchy in the history. Here on the right you can see the military museum. Chula Chumklao Royal Military Academy is the military academy of the Royal Thai Army, the RTA. And again, it was established in 1887. And it has graduated the majority of Thailand's military leaders, many of whom have become Thai Prime Ministers. The academy has an intense training program. 
Visitors can tour the Academy's shooting range, paddle canoes, ride a rescue sledge in the nearby reservoir, and even enjoy an 18-hole golf course. Group activities include treks, camping, and rock climbing sessions on natural and man-made cliffs. Other attractions include the statue of King Rama V the Great, depicted in full army regalia. A Royal Thai Army Museum, seen there on the right, featuring Thai military history and a sacred shrine dedicated to a military leader who helped defeat the invadi, invading Khmer forces. Touring this extensive military campus by car is the best option because of its size. However, bicycles can be rented from the tourist center inside the compound. So as we go on down the road here and Nam Yen continues to film for me, we'll just point out some of the things along the way. Now down here at the campus floor we are in a valley surrounded by mountains on all sides. So we are going to take you up into some of the mountains and give you a view from down from up above. Here on the right you can see solar panels. Just about every techno technology that can be experimented and advanced upon is done here on the campus. And there is also a lot of uh, botanical uh, environmental studies done on various plants. So we're going to turn here to the left and go up to a temple and you can see the temple sign here. Now this temple is actually older than the campus itself. Uh, as we said before, 1986 is when the campus opened here. But some of the buildings and temples in particular are older than uh, the campus itself. You can see here on the left there's a lot of different tropical fruits. These are called dragon fruits there on the left. And they have to make a stand for the for the fruit vine to grow up on. There's various different kinds of fruit trees as well as a big pineapple uh, orchard here as well. And all of these things are uh, taken care of by the non-commissioned enlisted office uh, enlisted uh, active duty soldiers all of the maintenance and care of the campus is done by enlisted soldiers the cadets themselves do not uh, participate in maintenance and care of the grounds they are far too busy with their academic studies and military training so this is a very very popular temple to visit here on the campus. It has some really nice views. So as Yin and I uh, take the 125i uh, Honda Wave up these hills, we have to use the low gear between the two of us on this thing. So this is just going to be the first level here and then I'm going to give you some live audio feed and description as we take a slow walk at this beautiful temple. Some of the temple buildings up here are very old, but there is also one that is very new and still in the process of construction. So you are going to hear some construction noise in the live audio feed, but I think uh, it is important to keep the live audio feed as we interact with uh, some of the people that are involved in the construction of the, of the new temple. So this is basically just the first level up the first hill. We are not at a very high point yet, but stay with me because we are going to continue upwards and give you even more stunning views of the beautiful campus here at CRMA. All right, thank you. Hello. Please continue to I'm watch here as we one of the temple over grounds to here live at the audio CRMA Royal Thai Military Academy. Thank you so, very much. Teacher Thomas They're doing some construction Peace and love in various all. areas, so you're going to hear some tools and some noise 
apologize for that, but hey, that's progress, right? This temple that I'm setting at right now has just been newly constructed, so this is brand new, and uh, the temple grounds itself is very old, but this particular temple is one that they've just completed. So I hope you enjoy this. I think it's going to be epic. We've already come up the hill, as you've seen, uh, on the motorbike, but we're going to go further up the hill and show you some amazing views of the campus here at CMRA, CRMA. So check it out. This is an epic temple. Like I say, this is all brand new construction. And being a construction man myself, my background for 30 years working in construction, I can really appreciate the craftsmanship and the work that goes into this. This is all stamped and stained concrete out here. Isn't that just wonderful? It looks like cobblestone. And you can see they use ceramic on all of the benches. Just an area for seating. So let's go inside the temple here. This is brand new. Now some of these older temple buildings have been here a long time. This one is brand new. And all of this is made out of cement. This, there you can hear the construction. This is all hand painted, all hand painted. They get on scaffolding and paint all that. That's just gray cement color when it's first, all the moldings are first installed. And then it's all hand painted. Don't ever forget to take off your shoes. Look at this marble. Actually, we have granite, granite on the steps, and then we have marble here. And you'll never see such fine craftsmanship. Look how flat it is with a very small grout line. I always enter the temples with a lot of solemnity in mind. Not only the craftsmanship that goes into the construction of these, but the ancient culture of Buddhism. So here we are on the grounds of CRMA. Look at these beautiful teak wood doors. These are all hand carved, guys. Hand carved. And they're very thick. Don't step on the threshold. Step over. Okay, I'm not going to bother that man in there. He's doing meditation and prayer. So you can see the temple walls themselves have not been painted with the murals yet. It's very new. So if you've ever visited the temple before, you know how beautiful the murals are inside. I can't wait to see the artsmanship that goes into painting the murals on this beautiful temple. So let's take a walk around. Yeah, you're going to hear a lot of construction noise, but I don't really want to do a voiceover on this. I'd rather do a live audio and kind of walk and explain some of these things. So we'll just tolerate some of the construction noise. Bear with me, guys.
สวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับสบายดีไหมครับ working hard พายนาคสวยมาก work so you can see this is uh, the construction of the Payanak and uh, this is all done by hand guys and look at this artist here working and you can see these little scales right and you can buy these and put your have your name put on beneath and that's what they use to put the scales on the Payanak Of course, all of the paint and everything, all the beautiful, colorful detail, will come last. And you can see the beginning of the construction of the Payanak. Of course, they have to cover it because we're in rain season. So when they're doing fresh mortar, they have to cover it. Just look at the craftsmanship. Very good. Get the small. Yeah, same. Yeah, we have our name on. They have made it this one. Yeah, same. yeah. You can put your name on them. Before. Mm hmm. A long time. Long time ago, huh? You go inside the cave temple. So you can see some of these buildings here are quite older. So this has been here for a long time. Again, before you enter, take off your shoes. Just appreciate the craftsmanship that goes in to the construction. And all of these statues Are poured concrete as well, so these are all done with molds. Amazing! You can put your candles. สวัสดีครับ So before we enter this old temple, I want to give you a little walk around it so you can see how this temple was constructed. Again, this is one of the temples on the grounds at CRMA. So I can't remember all the temple names, but you can just Google search CRMA. Now, if you notice the natural rock. The temple has actually been constructed into the rock. And again, the king, King Rama V, the founder of the Royal Thai Military Academy. And just look at the, the jungle that we're in. Have a walking trail with a waterfall down here on the end, but right now it's just the beginning of rainy season, so there's not going to be a whole lot of water. But give it another month or two, and you're going to have a large waterfall right down here. You see the natural rock. Now this temple is very old. I don't know how old, but it's very old construction. How they constructed the temple right into the natural rock, and we're going to go up. We're going to go up later. Stay with me, guys. This is going to be epic. Look at that. Even the concrete walkways been poured out around this rock. You can tell we have a lot of age here, a lot of age. This temple was here before the campus was created, before the academy actually came here. This temple was here. 
take a brief view of the overlook. You can tell we have a lot of age. Look at the stupa. When you have multiple bills like this, you can just ring them once. See the rock and the construction. Look at the marble. Look at that mural painting. It's all done by hand, guys. And here's your gold foil, the little foil packs that you get with your candle. There's been so many visitors here that the rock itself has been turned into gold with all the visitors placing the gold. Again, this is open to the public. So you can see the original mural painting of the Buddha. People bring flowers. Look at the construction of the temple with the rock. You can buy some souvenirs here too as well. You can leave donations, like I say. You can also have your name, have your name put on these bars. guys so we're on the first level coming up the hill onto this temple at CRMA so I hope you've enjoyed it so far stick with me in this series of CRMA there's much more to come we're going to jump back on the motorbike and go up the mountain and see if we can get you some beautiful views peace and love Oh, okay, okay, Ka. You you offer to cha cha. Show me again how you do. Okay. Wow. Okay. Good. For. Okay. Let me see what that. Okay. Good. Thank you, Kapkun Maka. Ka ka. And here's where you would put place your incense and your candles before entering the temple. All right, guys, we have walked down the steps and come below this brand new temple. And I just want you to look and see at the craftsmanship, the 
the artistry of the work that goes into creating these Payanak, uh, which is like the Thai protector of the temple. So you can see Grandma here is painstakingly making the scales for the Payanak. She has various different styles of molds and you can see her cement mixture and just look at that detail in the skill so I just wanted to give you a, a brief voiceover here and explain that she is making these by the thousands and thousands various different styles and sizes of scales that make up the body of the Payanak you can see she she makes a few of one style and then goes to a different style, probably to break up the monotony. I hope you find this interesting and we'll go back to some live audio feed here in just a second. But to me this is just uh, very fascinating. I'm very honored to be able to uh, record these people live as they perform their, their arts. So stay tuned. There's plenty more to come. Teacher Thomas Thailand. Peace and love to all. My timing may be a little bit off on some of these voiceovers. Bear with me. As I'm still in the learning curve of being able to produce and edit these videos for you. But I promise I will get better. The learning curve just happens to be a long, winding road for Teacher Thomas because he's old school and not very well educated in tech. But thank you. Doing this, I hope wow. You enjoyed this Guys, she's been doing this 30 years the making these polygons. CRMA. 30 years of skill right here. So I want. Lots of people That's involved. Thirty years of skill in the construction over. of the temple and the yes, creation. Yes, she's going to make for all the statues. Here for one year, Payanaks. they've been working here for one year. Yes. When this Payanak so here is at this temple, they've been working for one year on this Payanak. So it may take two years to finish, huh? But she's been doing this, huh, for her work, her job, for thirty years. Thirty years. Kapkun Maka. Okay, let's. 20 days. 20 days, right. Yeah. Grandma, wow. Grandpa can do it. Grandpa. But before they have one one man to make, but not not good. Right. He can check quick. Ah, Grandpa had to come in and fix, huh? I see. Wow. That's amazing. So you can see the tails here are a separate mold, right? Yeah, the man come before the Okay. Wow. <laughs> Ron my <laughs> So yeah, he's got him some shade some shade built in here. There he goes putting the spine on guys. Man caught Oh. 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 Chai, chai, chai. Uh-huh. These tools. Two points. See me. It's impressive. <laughs> oh, Kao Chai. Had to make them. Oh, Chai, Chai. 
Thank you so much for letting me take a video. Kapkun Makap. Wow, really nice. Yes, this is going to be gold colored when it's all done, guys. Yeah, the gold one. Uh huh. Wow. Okay guys, so Yin and I are going to leave this first level of the temple grounds and take the motorcycle up to the next level, which will be like the mid-level. It's just beautiful up here and so many things to see. Nam Yin is uh, taking over the GoPro here and going to give you some footage as we drive up these steep narrow roads. Uh, they are accessible by car or truck so you don't really need a four-wheel drive and if you have some experience and skill on a motorbike you can do uh, exactly what we're doing here as we go up these steep inclines. You just have to be careful and go slow and keep it in low gear. So Yen is learning as well how to assist me in making these uh, videos as we go along here because I really need to have both hands on the wheel uh, as we go up these steep inclines. But I hope you can just appreciate the beauty of the campus here and you can see very thick vegetation as this is a, a protected rainforest area of the Khao Yai National Park region. The campus grounds actually adjoin the National Park so uh, one could simply take off hiking through these mountains and end up into the Khao Yai National Park. But you have to be aware and be cautious because there are wild animals, there are uh, wild elephants and tigers both predator and prey. You don't often see them down here this low into the foothills on the campus. But it is possible. And of course there's a lot of snakes in Thailand. Although it seems to be rather rare to come across one. There's also there's always the possibility of seeing a cobra and other vipers and venomous snakes but no more hazardous than it would be say in Arizona or Texas with the rattlesnakes and uh, copperheads so don't think that it's uh, more dangerous than it would be back in the United States in the snake prone areas so our first stop is going to be at a little shrine here and then I'm going to go ahead and close out this episode of the video at this shrine where we get a nice overlook of the campus grounds. So please look for episode number two coming shortly and we'll pick up right here where we left off at this shrine. So okay we're guys, we're up here at uh, like the mid-level above the temple that we were just at, right? So now we're, this will give you uh, very Nam Yin nice was uh, recording the, the video as we come up the hill. So this is like Yen the midway point job and there's a beautiful little uh, Hello, shrine, right? Let's go. Not a temple, but like a shrine. So this is like a shrine. So let's go it's check this out. Area. And you're right in the foothills of the Khao Yai National Park. There are wild tigers, wild elephants, a lot of creatures. So, you know, you got to be on your guard. You never know what you might see. It'd be awesome if we saw some elephants. They usually don't come down this low into the temple, but they can. I mean, there's nothing stopping them, right? Bring a little lunch. Sit out here. There's a nice breeze up here. This thing is really old. You can see how old the 
concrete is here. So we got some wind up here on top, so I'm sure the GoPro is going to pick up some wind. Sorry about that, but I'm just going to keep it going live here, all right? Again, take off your shoes. This is considered a holy place. This is CRMA. Yeah, baby. See the temple we were just at? Right down below. Here you go. He's gonna, how many you have? Number nine? So she's gonna light nine incense here. And this is just a shrine. People come up and leave drinks, right? This is an offering. Light incense, candles. The water that's left here, that will be gathered up by the monks. So that will be for the monks. Anything that's not opened, it's just an offering, like an alm for the monks. Anything that's opened is an offering to the spirits, right? So that, that obviously will just go to waste. This is some milk, some soda, some water, right? So it'll be gathered up and, and disposed of and they'll recycle the plastic. So that's how that works. So this gives you a little bit of an overview of the campus of CRMA. We're still on the campus. We haven't left, right? There's only two gates into this place and one of them's closed because of the COVID. So you have to come into the main gate. You have to leave your identification, get a ticket and a number so that when you exit, you pick up your ID, okay? So that's how it's working right now because of the uh, you know, emergency orders nationwide due to the pandemic, okay? If you come here in the future, it may not be that way, but then again, you know, a lot of these things may become the new normal in the future. As you can see here, this is a newly constructed lake, and I can tell you that thing is massively deep. There was large excavation equipment way down inside that thing. So that was last year when they constructed it during the dry season. And then we had the rainy season beginning in June of 2019 that filled it up to this level. That is very, very deep. And now they're excavating. You can see the upper banks of the lake, right? So they're gonna pour concrete around the entire upper bank. So it's gonna be a massive reservoir of water here at CRMA. So you can see the campus. In the distance there, you can see a lot of the buildings and just look at the beautiful surroundings. So we're gonna go up even further. We're gonna go up, there's a, another temple up here on the mountain. So we're gonna have even a higher view here in just a little bit. So hang with us. I hope you'll uh, watch this entire series of CRMA because there's a lot to see here and we're not gonna see it all. We don't have enough time to take a tour of everything that's here. But we're gonna try to hit the highlights for you so that you'll you'll kind of have a sense of what there is to offer here in the province of Nakona Yolk. This is just one of many tourist stops that you can make here in Nakona Yolk province. Like I said, they have Seraka Waterfall, which is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Absolutely beautiful. You got Nangarang Waterfall, and then you can actually drive up into Khao Yai National Park itself. The highest elevation there uh, on the top of Khao Yai is 4,500 feet above sea level. So even when it's hot, 90 degrees, down here in the valley you get up there on top and it'll be a pleasant 70 degree temperature you get a lot of different fauna a lot of different plants up there that are uh, related to that cooler tropical mountain climate right so see yen here is shaking the fortune stick what number did you get baby 11 so you shake that stick do it one more time baby so they can see baby do one more time so they can see so you can, right? Super, and then she's gonna shake this thing. And she already got number 11. One stick is gonna fall out, ideally. One stick falls out. What number did you get that time? <laughs> Never mind, she already got 11. Okay, what's 11 say? Oh, it's all Pasa Thai. See, this is not a tourist area. This was a tourist area. You'd have Thai, Chinese, and English on these fortunes. Is it a good one, baby? Reading number 11. I hope it's a good one. So anyway, guys, stick with us. Oh, talk about husband together. 
happy? Good. So me and you together have happiness. And what else? Anything bad? Everything's good. All right. You ain't got a good fortune today. So all right, guys. We're going to head on up to the next level. Give you a little tour of that. That's the incentive. Thank you everyone for watching this uh, first episode of the video tour on the grounds here at CRMA, Chula Chumclao Royal Military Academy. If you haven't subscribed already, please click the subscribe button down below. And if you have subscribed, please share this video if you find it interesting on your favorite social media. Thank you, Teacher Thomas Thailand, out.